Good morning everyone. I am Gurvinder from simplyhealth.com. It's a privilege uh, for me today to have uh, Dr. Virendra Dhankar with us. He is a senior consultant urologist and endologist and he is a transplant surgeon in Chandigarh. Um we have some frequent uh, asked frequently asked questions for you sir today and uh, thank you for sparing some time with us. So my first question is, uh, what is UTI? In the UTI is very common. It, UTI means urinary tract infection. It uh, can occur in all age group. It is more common in female than in males. When say uh, it's uh, uh, the urinary tract infection can be divided into lower tract or upper tract. Upper tract includes kidney and ureter. Lower tract includes bladder and urethra. So usually the lower tract infection is more common. and it is much less harmful than a upper tract urinary infection which can damage the kidney and what are the common causes for UTI? the common uh, the most common cause of uti is from gi tract the organism which is affects normally or what we known as in community what is in community acquired infection is a e coli which comes from our flora of uh, gut and in female it is more common because the distance between the anus and urine passage is less and the urethra of a female is in less small in length compared to male so it's more common in a female than in male other factors are any congenital or anomaly or structural anomalies in the urinary tract in terms like kidney or bladder or ureter or it may be immunocompromised patient like diabetic patient or uh, aids patient Uh, these are the most common causes sometimes we don't find the causes uh, it may be idiopathic it is more common in a sexually active uh, females it may be more common in patient who are on long term catheter like neurogenic patients who have a stroke or a spine paralysis it is more common it is con- congenital anomalies can lead to uti in children and infants so these are the various factors which are associated with the urinary tract infection What are the risks involved for, especially for adults? Uh, the risk of UTI in a sexually active uh, female is usually use of contraceptives or uh, tamponades or any other uh, child uh, birth prevention uh, method which has been employed over the years. Second is constipation, which can also cause because constipation will alter the GI flora and it will lead to urinary tract infection. Third is diabetes or immunocompromised status. Fourth is hygiene. If hygiene is improper, it can cause a lot of back infections. Okay. What are the common uh, signs or symptoms for UTI? The most common signs and symptom of UTI is frequency of urination, pain or burning by urination, pain in suprapubic region. Second, uh, this may be associated with fever, bleeding in the urine, foul smelling urine, leakage of urine, pain in the flanks. and fever if the kidney uh, infection uh, if the urinary tract infection occur goes into kidney ascends into kidney which is known as a polynephritis which is associated with pain fever nausea vomiting and which can potentially damage the kidney in, uh, in during pregnancy it can give rise to low birth weight babies or uh, may cause a anemia or may cause a abortion also so these are the risk factors in adult uh, urinary tract infection so it can again go into a recurrent type of infection what is known as a recurrent uti if the infection occurs more than two times in six months or more than four times in a year it may be as a recurrent urinary tract infection the other causes may be abnormality like a stone in the kidney or ureter or bladder can cause infection obstruction to the passage of urine may cause a urinary tract infection like blockage in the ureter blockage at the junction of ureter and uh, kidney or uh, the there is reflux on the urine the back uh, urine goes backward normally the urine is going coming from kidney to ureter to bladder and out so some this is a one way passage sometimes because of faulty valve the urine goes backwards towards the kidney and if it's associated with infection it can cause a uti or a pyelonephritis neurogenic bladder as well so this is a risk factor for infection 
can uh, men also get infected by uti and what are the causes men also get get, get infected uti is common for both uh, sex so men are more infected in early uh, uh, childhood infants or because of congenital abnormalities which occurs during the uh, birth process or in old age because in old age the because of the outlet obstruction of the prostate the urine needs stores in the bladder and it's not empty completely so it can give rise to a drug infection structural abnormality like stones or stricture in the passage blockage in the passage can lead to a drug infection and what are the treatments uh, for uti the treatment for uti is if it is complicated or uncomplicated uncomplicated means the lower urinary tract is it's only affected like bladder or urethra or in complicated the upper tract is affected so if a uti is associated with fever uh, leukocytosis then uh, the treatment requires an antibiotic uh, for a iv antibiotic for about 10 to 14 days if it is uncomplicated uti which occurs in a general community settings then it is usually treated with a 3 to 5 days course of antibiotic and uh, the symptoms subside in 2 or 3 days so we should take a full course of antibiotics so that resistance of the resistance of the organism doesn't occur so and hydration drink a lot of lot of water acidic of urine with alkalizers uh, so and pain killer if the bladder is more irritable there's a frequency urgency then we give some kind of bladder relaxant and then we should be proper so these are the treatment for which and for the causes if there is any cause that has to be removed like stone so that treat of the stone but uh, yeah, your infection will settle down if it's a, if it's after a sexual intercourse then probably after the act a single dose of antibiotic can be given then there is a use of contraceptive and uh, change the contraceptive with oral pills avoid intravaginal tamponades or uh, condoms and it is because of constipation take care of the constipation can uh, uti come again i mean can occur again yes uh, the uti probably in a female sexually active age group yes it can recur in old age also it can recur because in old age post menopausal females the uh, there is lack of estrogen which can affects the cause the dryness of vaginal mucosa so bacteria can invade into bladder easily so in that scenario we uh, Uh, tell them to use estrogen creams to provide a lubrication to the vaginal mucosa, and if it if it recurs, uh, uh, so it's known as a recurrent UTI. If there is a period of more than four in a year, then it is known as a recurrent UTI. If there is any cause of recurrent UTI, that has to be taken care. Otherwise, what we do is tell them a general precautions: drink a lot of water, keep an area clean, use a uh, English toilet, and use a health faucet. was from front to back rather than from back to front use of cranberry uh, extracts and a low dose of antibiotic for about 6 uh, months or so so that the chances of uti decreases okay so is uti a uh, underlying pro- uh, problem for many upcoming diseases big diseases uti has such is uh, uh, if it's a lower tract uti usually doesn't cause much diseases but if it is ignored mainly in a diabetic or immunocompromised patient it can lead to sepsis so uti as such if it is a lower tract uti uncomplicated uti it gets treated very easily but if the uti reaches to the upper tract or if it is a complicated uti means which is associated with some cause like stone or diabetic or some obstruction in the urine tract symptoms then it may uh, lead to the uh, decrease in the function of the kidney decrease uh, sepsis the infection may spread to the all the body and may sometimes causes uh, risk to the life so it should be treated by health professionals as soon as possible in childbirth as i have already told child bearing age it can uh, in a pregnancy it can lead to anemia it can lead to loss of pregnancy or low birth weight anything else you want to add on this topic uti is very common and sometimes it is uh, recurrent and there is no cause found out for it so if it is a uncomplicated recurrent uti what advice i'll do is drink lot of water so that bacteria gets flush out easily with every walks use a clean hygiene avoid constipation don't hold for urine for too long 
you can use uh, probiotics like uh, Vizilac or use lot of curds so that healthy bacteria grows in our intestine and the chances of infection are less and uh, if it is a in a, uh, in a sexually active male avoid using uh, contraceptives uh, or intra, like intravaginal tamponades or uh, condom if it, the infection is related to the sexual activities and use of probiotics like uh, cranberry juice extract in the form of juice or a tablet can be taken to prevent a recurrent infection and once you have a UTI please consult your doctor immediately so the treatment can be started and it doesn't progress to recurrent uh, UTI or it doesn't progress to the upper track complicated UTIs and cause infection in the field. If there is any cause for UTI, get rid of it so that infection doesn't recur.